The anti-gun lobby loves to believe that their portrayal of gun-related deaths in America pushes the needle toward more support for gun control. What they fail to realize is that the more violence is portrayed in the media, the more people seek ways to protect themselves. Some will hide themselves away and rarely go out in public. Some will move from high crime areas to places they believe will be safer. But many will decide to take responsibility for their own safety and become gun owners. A survey by the Associated Press suggests that 71% of respondents would prefer so-called stricter gun laws but stricter is never defined. The problem with this type of poll questioning is that the people responding typically have no idea what gun laws are currently in place. But even worse, they don't realize that most often the current gun laws are the cause of higher crime rates. This creates a self-perpetuating cycle of gun restrictions by encouraging continued support of the very thing that causes the problem in the first place. Associated Press said, 52% of people agree that it's both very important to prevent mass shootings and very important to ensure people are able to own guns for personal protection. This shows us that the number of people who see simply banning guns and doing nothing to improve their level of self-defense as a bad idea is growing. The 2020 Antifa and BLM left-wing riots supported by Democrats in Congress helped average citizens see the importance of personal defense. They also made clear who was responsible for the violence. Violence triggers a natural instinct to seek protective measures. Now, during that time, gun sales skyrocketed among first-time purchasers. Even given the often slanted poll questioning process and use of anti-gun terminology, 85% support a federal law preventing mentally ill people from purchasing guns, while only 59% support a nationwide ban on semi-automatic weapons, according to the Associated Press. So, although the question is often asked to encourage those surveyed to support gun control, the truth is most people want more focus put on criminals. People are starting to realize that there's no such thing as gun violence. And in fact, violence is a human behavioral issue. According to The Reload, a Quinnipiac report shows dwindling support for modern sporting rifle bans even though so-called assault weapon bans have been at the top of the media hit list. New data shows support for such bans falling to under 50%. Now imagine if media presented an honest gun narrative and refrained from using terms like assault weapon and gun violence. Gun control advocates recognize how important these and other scary terms are to their narrative. So they continue to use them, regardless of the pushback they receive from Americans. The gun grabbers are frightened of terminology that portrays firearms in an honest light. Their fear of an honest narrative was revealed when a petition was filed with the FTC by several anti-gun organizations. It made the claim that the idea guns could be used to protect people and save lives or make homes safer was false advertising. The anti-American pro-unarmed helplessness crowd consisting of the Brady Campaign, Giffords Law Center, and March for Our Lives members also claimed that any advertising which used patriotic, military, or macho imagery and language in firearm advertising was deliberately being used to appeal to insurrectionists and mass shooters. They understand the power of language and they want to control the way it's used to benefit themselves and influence lawmakers. But their attempts at making half the country look like killers is quickly failing. Instead, they're revealing the fact that the political left is losing the ideological battle. Now, according to NSSF industry data, since 1990, there are now more than 24.4 million modern sporting rifles in circulation as of 2020. That figure includes more than 4.5 million added since 2018. Now, as a result, even Democrats are becoming skeptical of the attacks on modern sporting rifles. Representative Kurt Schrader, a Democrat from Oregon, told Politico when referring to the left's latest gun ban attempt, he said, this is a bill that destroyed the Democrats in 1994. I guess, do we really have a death wish list as Democrats? It undermines what we already did 
and reemphasizes to all the people in America that are not hardcore urban Democrats that our party is out of touch. You see, their anti-gun fear campaign is failing, but that's all they have. I'm Dan Wass, and this has been another Ammo Land News Second Amendment update. Tell us what you think in the comments below and share this with your family and friends to help support Ammo Land News, America's oldest Second Amendment news outlet.